Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter. Okay, so my landing page for this video is this font. I love this space font. This is what we're making today. Um, it's just, it's a shaker, so you can, I think you can hear it, sort of. <laughs> but these little holes, um, they have little sequins and stars in them. It's super cute. I like doing these little props to go with, I mean, I have the cake topper because it's for a space themed birthday. So this will go somewhere on the table. I like making little supporting items. Um, so anyway, the font is from here because I've gotten a lot of questions on it. Um, it is an expensive font, but <clears throat> excuse me, anything from Creative Fabrica, if you actually get the subscription, you can just download and it comes with commercial usage. So I love that for my fonts. Um, and the thing that I was seeing on a couple of my other videos is that if you want to create an offset, which is, you can see the, the layers, I have the blue, the gold and the black. And if you want to do that the same with for anything, the name, um, this little circle thing that's also from Creative Fabrica, um, it can't come, it can't originate from design space because you can't take it out of design space into ink space. I feel like I'm so much space and the space font. <clears throat> but uh, so you need another source to for your fonts and also for your images. So I do like Creative Fabrica. If you end up getting a subscription, you can always try for one month. Um, I have a 30% off discount. So it's the useless crafter 30, all one word. Um, and 30 is the number three zero. So, and I'll get you 30% off. So, all right, download. And then, you know, if you um, <clears throat> download onto your computer and then if you close out uh, design space and then open it back up, the font will be there. So anyway, all right. So we're going to go into Inkscape. Um, I know it took me so long to get into Inkscape, but now that I'm in it, I can't stop using it. So, um, <clears throat> excuse me, for the offset, I feel like it really just makes your project look so much better. And I have another example. I'm so behind on my tutorials, and so I'm doing quite a few of them today. So you can see the different layers here, the names. It really just adds a lot of depth and a lot of character to your projects, and I feel like it looks more complete and more professional. So <clears throat> let's work in Inkscape. It's literally the only thing I know how to do, um, but I feel like it's it's good. It's all we need to know, right, until I decide to do something else. But it's really easy. So first thing is you want to, I do, <clears throat> you want to import all your images, so images or your fonts. So I'm going to do the eight. Here's my eight. All right. Um, similar to Design Space, you have your lock button. So this is currently unlocked. So I want to lock it because I want to make it big so we can see it. So this is super cute, right? This little eight. <clears throat> so I want to show you what I did. We have the original eight. So just assume this is our original eight, right? And then we have a 20% a ink or a 20 millimeter increase uh, for the offset in the gold and then another 20 for the black. So this is what we're going to do. The eight is currently selected, right? So with your cursor, just um, tap down in the open white area. So now it's deselected, right? Go to, and I'm sorry, I need to make this a little bit smaller because my buttons are right there. So, all right. Then what you want to do is you want to go and select the paint bucket. Select any color. It doesn't matter because we're going to fix it in design space. The first thing that we want to do is this is a shaker, right? I think you can see all the sequins in there. Okay. The sequence layer is actually 20 in, okay? So we're going to do minus 20. And the reason why this is a new thing, this is the first one that I did it like that. Um, because when you create your layers, you know, you always do five layers of the inside where you're gonna do your shaker. I like doing it smaller than your top layer because then you don't see it at all. So you could have a lot of glue, a lot of tape to make sure that thing is locked in and tight so your sequins don't fall out because I had a lot of leakage problems <laughs> in my earlier ones. So, and it gets messy. So I like doing the offset, making it smaller. Okay, so this is at negative 20 or negative, yeah, negative 20. So click on it. And you can see the blue layer is inside our black layer. So this is gonna be behind 
what is here. So you can't see it, okay? Now, you have your paint bucket, go get your arrow and see how this is selected. So you wanna select in the white area so nothing is selected. Go hit the paint bucket, let's pick another color. And now we wanna create the offset, the bigger one, right? So now we wanna go here and instead of negative 20, we want positive 20 because neutral zero is our original black layer, okay? So now let's click on the black and there's our big layer, right? So same thing, hit the cursor, hit the white blank area, paint bucket, another color, and now we're gonna go to 40. So click on that, now it's a little bit bigger. So hit the arrow, the blank space, the paint bucket, another color. We're gonna do 60. I always like to do now, that's part of my process, is 20, 40, 60, because that will give you the layers. You don't necessarily have to use all of them, but you don't want to um, save this, go into design space, and then decide, oh, I want another layer. So it's easier to do your three layers while we're here, and then you can delete later. All right, so we already picked our color. Let's go up here and change it to, did I pick my color? My paint bucket is, yes, another, let's just pick another color in case I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> okay, all right, so let's change this to 60 and let's click on this, perfect. So now we're ready to go. Click on your arrow key and let's, and click on the white space and grab everything. Go to path, object to path, and then file, save as, save this as whatever you want it to be. So it's gonna be my offset demo. You have to remember where you saved it because we have to upload it into design space. All right, so we're done in ink, ink space, okay? Uh, oh, Inkscape, I've been calling it ink space. All right, I knew it sounded funny. Okay, so <laughs> design space. This is what it looked like to create this. Um, I did have this cut because I couldn't decide if I'm going to want this or that. And so this was the other piece that I didn't use, but I'll use this for something else. I like this when it, when it was all said and done. Okay, so let's make this a little bit smaller so that we can see what it looks like in its final stage. And then we're going to recreate this. Okay, so go to upload, upload image, and we're going to go get our offset eight, right? So here's my offset eight demo, the one we just created. And save, <clears throat> and then select it to insert your image. So here it is. Now, um, this is totally, I was gonna say it's totally up to you, but we do want the back space here because you're going to want to be able to see through this. Otherwise it's gonna, well, depends. If you want a color in the background, you can, because I did have a color in the background for this. So do you see it's a dark color? And then I have the acetate on top. So it's up to you. If you want a dark color, what you're gonna to need to do is this. We're gonna ungroup this, right? This is our final back layer. If you want a solid color to show through, then you go to contour and hit hide all, and now you have this. So it's totally up to you. You don't waste any more cardstock or anything because you were gonna cut the outline anyway, so this middle part would have been wasted. I will say though that if you, I probably would have done a solid color in the back in hindsight because it makes this thing more stable. Right now, this outer layer in the back, you see how it's just this little thing? So when I put it down to stand, my paper, isn't the whole thing isn't as strong. So I would do that this round. Okay, so here's our, our backmost layer. Here's our second one. So let's do the same thing. Let's go to contour and hide all. So you have a solid layer and we'll bring this to the front just so that we can visually um, see what's going on. All right, so here's our second layer this same thing with here contour um hide all so that we have our oops and send to the front okay um all right so this is our inner layer right so that's 
that's our shaker. So I'm gonna put that aside. I'm gonna put this um, arrange send to the front. So if we wanna do it exactly the way I have it here, I'm gonna match the colors, okay? So this black layer ended up being a dark blue. My purple layer or pink, hot pink layer is gold glitter cardstock. So I'm gonna change it to yellow. Then my back layer is this one and it's black, regular black cardstock. That back layer, I would also do it with like 110 pound cardstock so that it's more stable. I ended up doing uh, 65 pound, so I feel like it's just flimsier. Okay, and I don't have this back back layer, so let's just get rid of that. So it looks exactly like what we have, okay? All right, this layer, this is the, um, I'm gonna bring this to the front just so that you can see what it looks like. It's inside of all the layers, right? So you want this layer to be your acetate, okay? So let's duplicate that. So we'll put one back. Um, we will make this, I'm gonna do silver just so that it makes me think it's clear, okay? So that's our acetate layer. And then bring this to the front, send to the front. This is gonna be our paper, okay? So we're gonna do five layers. So this is how it's gonna look. Um, you know, so we're gonna, we have our acetate on the bottom. We have five layers of this, okay? And then we're gonna have another acetate on top. Oops, not this one. Let me get this there. I'm gonna duplicate that one. So, and then I'm gonna go and um, align center just so you can see what it would look like. So you can't see the cardstock, right? So our top layer and our bottom layer of this is acetate. So think acetate, acetate, and then you have cardstock layers in between, right? So what you end up having is a flat sheet. You have the layers that create this much um, in cardstock, and then you dump your sequence in, and then you close it by putting your acetate layer on top. So you end up having like, a little cushion of a shaker, okay? So that's all that that is. And so this layer, and I'm gonna group this so that it can move as one, okay? So that layer goes here that no one can see, and then this layer goes on top. So it's arranged then to the front. And there you have this. Okay, now this, if you want this, all I did was I went into images and it is sitting, I don't know if you can see on here. So there's, you know, it's just stacked. Um, this is sitting on some um, glue dots. So it has like a little bit of space on top. So it feels very 3D-ish. Um, I think I just did stars. Can't remember what I searched for. Yeah, I think it was here. Um, so let's see if we can find it and I'll show you how to manipulate that image because it was a little bit, um, we did need to do one or two steps. Um, if I can find it, let's see. This is making me nervous because I'm seeing things that are not stars. Where did I see that image? I don't remember going down this far. Did I? Okay. It was definitely a design access image. Um, darn, I'm not seeing it. Oh, this was the other one that I did. That one is this, in case you want it. Um, so maybe it is here. Mm. Oh my gosh. I just don't remember scrolling this far, but it's such a cute image. So I want to really try to find it. Now, the, if you're wondering why this 
this and this one didn't have an offset because it is a design space image. I can't get it into Inkscape in order to um, create the offset that you saw how we were doing. Okay. It just, let me see if it makes a difference if I just do star. No. Okay, that was sucky. I don't remember where that image resides. It was definitely here. Okay, I'm going to get out of it. But that those are just extra things. I mean, I think it would have been fine without it. Um, so these are my layers. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that you need. Um, we can go to the make it screen. I'm going to delete this so that th this doesn't get in the way. Okay, let's go to make it just so you can see. So this is our acetate, right? This is one of our layers, one of our layers. This is our shaker part, right? So it goes with the acetate. This is building the layers. Now, in this case, I feel like... Um, it doesn't have to be this color because it's hidden. So if you wanted to move this to another page, so for instance, click on the click on the item, click on the three dots. If you have, let's say, extra black paper and extra room on here, just make it black. Just put it on there and you see there it is. It doesn't matter what color it is because you won't see it. But it's a shame to just have two on this one. So I'm going to move this. I figure you have a lot of plain black sheets. So I'm going to just move it here. Okay. Um, this blue we want, that's our top layer. And then that's it. Um, is this one touching? No. Okay. That's it. If you have any comments or questions, please post them. And if you have a project that you would like help on, I would love to do that. So you just need to reach out to me somehow, Instagram, Facebook, or here. All right. Have a great day. Bye guys.